Welcome to day five of the 30 day coding challenge here from CSMF. And we um, today are talking about uh, finishing out. And you can see it on the right hand side here. We are going to finish out just the upper left hand corner of the, uh, the United States flag. Now, to do that, we're going to add a parameter uh, to the six row function. And it takes a while to show you fill colors. So let's get at it. All right, so I pasted in the code from yesterday, which was day four of the challenge. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slowly scroll through this in case you're just getting to this fourth one. Uh, if you have no clue what this code does, don't just copy it. Um, but there's a potential chance that if you've done some programming before, let me do that one more time, that you'd be able to um, figure it out. Okay, so in either regard, either start from uh, day one if you're a beginner and, and build up to here, and then it will make more sense. So let's take a minute and just scroll to the bottom of the code and clean this code up with me a little bit. So let's start each chunk with a comment. So this structure here, remember, draws um, five rows of six. And then this one up here, um, this is where we defined uh, how to draw a row. Um, I guess of stars. So I guess we could make that comment a little bit better. But notice how when we made this, we didn't put any parameter in here. So we're going to put one in there now. So let's just say we call that parameter uh, n. n could be like the number in in the uh, the, the number that of stars that are in the row. So for I in range six, that was how we decided to do uh, six stars, right? With 50, uh, a value of 50 uh, incrementing in the X direction. So let's just change that to N. <clears throat> this is called a parameter. And so now, uh, now the program is flexible. But if we draw, if we try to run this, Notice how we'll say this six row doesn't have the parameter that it needs. It takes in exactly one argument. So parameter argument, they're kind of are used interchangeably. But now I just say, well, that's a six row. So I want to make that six. But we probably don't want to make it called six row anymore because it doesn't just make six rows anymore. So then down here where we called up that uh, function, we'd have to change its name. So maybe we'll call it star row, take in the number that you want to draw. And that'll be very advantageous because when you look at the uh, American flag in the upper left-hand corner is all we're going to do today. Um, notice that we haven't covered these five rows, which is what we're trying to do now. So let's go ahead and go back into our code and just run that. So if I now run the code at this point, notice that it makes the six stars as it always did. But now this function is much more flexible. Okay, so I'm going to challenge you to copy this. Uh, draws f uh, five rows of six, and then down here I'm going to comment out, and I'm going to say draws uh, four rows, I believe it is, of five stars. So how would you do modify this code to that? Okay, so I'm not sure if you pause the video, but that's what I wanted you to do. Um, so you could have said then for item in range four, because we want four rows, uh, we want to do five now stars in each row. Now the problem with this is that if you run this at this point, it actually will overlap with the other ones. So we, if you remember, if we scroll back in our code, we initialize the position, right? So I'm going to take this code where we initialize the position, and I'm going to put that into our six row because that's where we used it right i don't even know if we need this pen up because remember we put that in the in the function i could always add it back in there if we need it, but i think that's extra code what we're going to want to do right now is initiate i copy this and paste it in here we're going to want to initiate where we start this one and i could spend a lot of time on it but mathematically it works out pretty good to do um, uh, negative 75. I didn't put an XY grid in here, so you might not know where that is, but this corner right here is at negative 100 uh, 
negative 100 in the x direction, 100 up. So if we run this, oh, we do need that pen up originally. So I'll put that back in, but see if you can get this um, code started. Oh, I'm sorry. We also need to change. Notice how these rows I can tell down here uh, are coming out uh, off because they're repositioning now at negative 100. We need to make those at negative 75. So I'm going to add in that, <coughs> excuse me, that original um, pen up. Maybe we could do that up here, actually. T dot pen up in our initiate just to make the code look cleaner, right? And this length of 50, I'm even going to cut that out and I'm going to put it underneath this um, um, comment. So I'm going to pause here and let you do the things I've done on here and kind of clean it up. I'll run it and make sure it's working and fix any errors. Yep, everything seems to be working good. And now start to look at our structure. We have this setup code. We have this define a five point star code. We have this uh, define how to draw five stars. And you can rename the commenting. I do want a space there. Notice how we have that structure of one space between each chunk. It's really good to have structure in your code. And we're almost done. All we got to do is add in the fill. So we're a little over time. Uh, this five minute thing has been a little tough, but I'm going to initiate like right at the beginning to just draw a rectangle. So you can, for time's sake, I've copied the code and I'm going to paste it in here. Uh, we just played around with some corner values that made a nice rectangle around this. And we're going to fill that with the color or make the pen a color blue. So at this point, all of this code should make sense. You can pause and get that in your program. Remember the set positions is going to set the corners. And so if we set the color to blue, we can do T dot. Uh, this is a new command to fill that I was going to cover yesterday, but didn't have time. So we're going to begin filling after we set the color to blue and go to this corner. And after we draw out this whole rectangle, we are going to do t dot end fill. So now if I run this, I might stop it. Oh, t dot. Oh, it needs an underscore in between t dot end fill. And now if I just stop the code, because the the um, stars, remember we're just drawing those in the pen color set to blue. So what we can do is um go into right into our definition i suppose and give me two seconds yes yeah, so the easiest place probably is right here in our five star definition so the the um you can see some of my work here i was playing with but essentially it's uh, t dot color you want to set the color to uh, the stars are white so i do t dot white and then um, after we set that color we can do t dot begin fill and then after probably even after we put the pen up but we'll just do it here t dot and fill and so that's going to draw the star out using this code right begin the fill before it um, and the fill after it and so that's it that is the code that makes it i apologize that i went a little bit long but some of this stuff takes time i originally wanted to do the entire flag but realized that might be a little aggressive for our challenge in one day so hopefully that makes sense and you had fun doing it. Uh, again, if there's questions, fire them in the comments. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We're going to be doing this all in April. Thanks for joining us.